from 1996, made by Blizzard, and recently released on GOG, which was probably the strangest decision I've ever seen from any game. Anyways, um, we get to pick three uh, classes, just like a stock uh, RPG character selection screen. Um, some of these classes play off of one another, like for example, the Warrior and Rogue play off their Dexterity and Strength, whereas the Whereas, oh yeah, I forgot, also magic as well, but the rogue is slightly higher magic, whereas the sorcerer has high magic, but does virtually nothing in combat. So for this stream, I'm going to be playing as the warrior. So, that said, stay a while and listen. Sorry. Just had to. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Ogden has owned and run the Rising Sun Inn and Tavern for almost four years now. He purchased it just a few short months before everything here went to hell. He and his wife, Garda, do not have the money to leave as they invested all they had in making a life for themselves here. He is a good man with a deep sense of responsibility. All right, if I get too far ahead of myself here. Alright. Well, actually, let me hang on a second. Turn it down slightly more. Perfect. Well, what can I do for you? That so lad has is going to get himself into serious trouble. Or I guess I should say, again. I've tried to interest him in working here and learning an honest trade. But he prefers the high profits of dealing in goods of dubious origin. I cannot hold that against him after what happened to him. But I do wish you would at least be careful. Oh yeah, before I begin. Let's see what I'm equipped, I'm equipped with. Buckler and a short sword. And a hundred gold. Whoa, what can I do for you? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that each character has their own skill. Like for example, the warrior, he can repair what items. You, but I have made as you see, throughout the stream, we're going to see why Unlike repair us, does have a little bit of its drawbacks. Can heal themselves without the aid of potions or magic. If you hurt one of the monsters, make sure it is dead, or it very well may regenerate itself. I think that's going to come true later on. Maybe not at this point. Buy an extra healing potion. I'll talk to the tavern Thank owner. Thank goodness you returned. Much has changed since you lived here, my friend. All was peaceful until the Dark Riders came and destroyed our village. Many were cut down where they stood, and those who took up arms were slain or, or dragged away to become slaves, or worse. The church at the edge of town has been desecrated and is being used for dark rituals. The screams that echo in the night are inhuman, but some of our townsfolk may yet survive. Follow the path that lies between my tavern and the blacksmith's shop to find the church and save who you can. Perhaps I can tell you more if we speak again. Good luck. We're going to get our very first quest. Just a short bit. Please, listen to me. The Archbishop Lazarus. He led us down here to find the lost prince. The bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead. Killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avenge us! Find this Butcher and slay him, so that our souls may finally rest. Yep. 
like I said, our very Please first quest. Listen to me. Please. Okay, that's just a repeat. Our very first the sanctity level. of this place has been fouled. Now, one unique feature about this game is that the dungeons are not consistent; they are random. So the next time I play this game, the layout's gonna be way different. stairway down, but we're not ready to go there yet. Before I get ahead of myself here, throughout the game you're gonna have to, we're gonna come across items that only spe either specific characters can use, or you need to have a specific skill level set. Like for example, this staff of holy bolt, you need 20 magic to use it. Just leveled up, but I'm gonna wait a little bit. Then within this first level, I can get at least two levels. mentioned about durability in this game. Like if you notice right here, there's a durability of 19 out of 20. That means as time goes on, the weapon gets less and less effective unless you repair it. But like I said, I'll show you in just a short bit, why the repair skill comes at a price. Now would be a good time for me to showcase the uh, skill. Now, this. Come on. I know I've gotten this to work before. I guess that'll show you later, because now's not a good time. <laughs> yep, as you can see right there, one of my armor items is about to be close to...
Okay, there we go. Now watch. Oh, you see that? Durability went down by three points, which means now it's gonna wear out a little bit faster. Speaking of items that need to be repaired, everything else seems to be fine. And I believe also con item condition also affects price. At least I think it does. Memory serves me right, the enemies do not respawn if you were to leave and come back, or even restart the game where you last left off. I mean, I haven't played this game in forever. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. Or, what you could do actually is rearrange your inventory in such a way that maybe there wouldn't have so much room, wouldn't be so much of a problem to begin with, hmm? I gotta pawn some of this stuff. That's really not a bad idea. Alright, well, might as well head back to town. I'm out here, I might as well just go ahead and level up my character. Let's see here. Hmm. Uh, at some point, I think I have to learn the archery. I think I'm also going to increase his vitality. Magic, I am not so concerned with. Oh, why don't I keep hitting the wrong buttons? At this point. I know at some point later on in the game, I think someone is going to be killed by magic. Or with special weapons. Hello, 
my friend. Stay a while and listen. All right. Well, what can I do for you? you my friend okay I guess I don't have enough yes there's another place you can go to for magic related items and she's over here She is. I sense a soul in search of that. To a man who only knows iron, there is no greater magic than steel. The blacksmith Griswold is more of a sorcerer than he knows. His ability to meld fire and metal is unequaled in this land. By the way, I believe that's a cursed item. Pretty good deal. Sells. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention town of scroll of town portal. Crucial item, especially when you get into the deeper levels. But since we're only going down to a couple levels here, it's really not high on my priority list right now. Can I buy a better weapon? I might buy a better shield. Well, what can I do for you? Doesn't look like it. At least not at this point. How much gold do I have? 130? I should be okay for now.
Let's get our first bow. Too much baggage. Already? He is. But on a positive scale, at least I'm gonna make myself a little bit of a fortune. Get over here. Yeah, one sucky thing is that, uh... You can't just change weapons on the fly. So it turns out I have to head back up to town and repound some more of this stuff. Boy. What can I do for you? I sense a soul in search of answers. Cha-ching. All right. All right, Adrian, give me some, uh, Squall of Town portals. I'll take two of these. Perfect. There it is. Oh, just your average everyday cap. Yep, despite the fact now that my Falcion is repaired, 
it lost two durability points. So yeah, that's the price you pay for repairing items. But P's and Q's come together. What choice do you have? Get over here. Oh, I sold the bow. Shoot, I didn't want to do that. That's all right. place. But we're not gonna go in there yet. Can I get the axe? Alright, yep. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna trade. Oh, it's a two-handed item. Never mind. I would never compromise protection for a weapon that does extra damage. Oh yeah, I forgot about the uh, shrines that are in this game. Shrines do one of several things. And maybe guided by fate. I forget what this shrine is. I think... I think it increases my strength a little bit? I'm not sure. Rogue is the only character who can disarm traps, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. up of charred bolt. That was a book, but I don't have 25 magic. Darn. Before I get too far into something else, I'm going to uh, level up my characters. Yeah, 
increase his dexterity. Huh, something must have, uh... What do I have in here that, uh, increases my dexterity? Or maybe I got hit by something that made me lose dexterity. Drink and be refreshed. Oh, very nice. Potions are always good to have. Okay, now being spoiled by uh, scrolls of a. Uh... Too much baggage. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. Hmm. Okay, looks like I'm not gonna organize my way out of this. So, one thing to do, and that is. Use up a scroll. Perfect. Where does it send? Oh, it sends me over here. Whoa, what can I do for you? back and purchase a skull cap while I'm at it. Ooh, even better, I'll buy a longbow. I want to see if I can heal because what next heals you, my friend? Off. Hmm. I find it very strange that my dex already goes up by two. Hmm. Something must have done this. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Let's go visit our good friend, the witch. I sense a soul in search of answers. Do for you. Yes, I can actually. Whoa, what can I do for you? Oh. 
Bolts? Damn, you little. Ah, oh, you little. There you go. For the sake of the butcher, we're gonna fight with the sword and shield. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. Again? Really? Okay. I pawn some of this stuff. Too much baggage. Good friend Griswold again. Yeah, it doesn't take long for your inventory to get full. Oh, what can I do for you? Now it's time here. See if I can buy anything in the premium department. Hmm. Not really. Although that white bow is really nice. Resist magic 13%. Hmm. But it doesn't do as much damage. Hmm. Talk about basic items here. Nope, nothing on the ordinary here, so... Go visit our good friend, the witch, once more. Sense a soul in search of answers.
thousand to go. All right, back into the fray. I find it kind of strange that the character is only about two feet away from said item and yet he has to shoot it. That is just really bizarre. enemies in this game, every once in a while you'll come across an enemy that has either certain resistance to magic or is stronger or faster or harder hit or whatever. But killing him is worth it because you get a lot more experience that way. Everything magical I can sell? No. Everything is weapons related. Oh. Bronze bow, huh? Hmm. I'll just stick to my long bow. I'm getting close to leveling up. Whoa! What can I do for you? Let's see what you got. Anything worth value this time?
not really. Like I said, this game may look easy at first, but wait till you get to the deeper dungeons. And that's the game. That's where the game starts to get much harder. Staff of Telekinesis. Ten, huh? For a small axe? Mm, I don't know. We'll see what it looks like. So at this point, it's hard to say whether it's worth the keep or sell and make a tiny little profit. Before we make any decisions on that, let's go fight the butcher. Super close. Whew. I guess I'm gonna have to come back. No, I can just do this. There we go. Four to twenty-four. Well, that takes care of the uh, butcher. 
instead of taking a scroll, I think I'm just gonna take the stairs back up. Oh, that's down. Like I said, that was super close. But we still haven't quite re leveled up yet. That sucks. potions like crazy. Whoa, what can I do for you? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Look that way. Oh, whatever. Like I said, I can always make a tiny little profit. Whoa, what can I do for you? Do you get anything good in the premium department? Sense a soul in search of answers. you, my friend. Portal scrolls as well. Oh, I think I'm supposed to talk to King about something. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Okay. So I guess nobody else has anything to say about the butcher. Sense a soul in search of answers. All right, let's do it. God, my inventory's gonna fill up really fast. Actually, 
Before I get too far ahead of myself, I'm supposed to talk to him. The village needs your help, good master. Some months ago, King Leoric's son, Prince Albert, was kidnapped. The king went into a rage and scoured the village for his missing child. With each passing day, Leoric seemed to slip deeper into madness. He sought to blame innocent townsfolk for the boy's disappearance and had them brutally executed. Less than half of us survived his insanity. The king's knights and priests tried to placate him, but he turned against them and, sadly, they were forced to kill him. With his dying breath, the king called down a terrible curse upon his former followers. He vowed that they would serve him in darkness forever. This is where things take an even darker twist than I thought possible. Our former king has risen from his eternal sleep and now commands a legion of undead minions within the labyrinth. His body was buried in a tomb three levels beneath the cathedral. Please, good master, put his soul at ease by destroying his now cursed form. Because I already explored two. Hello, my friend. Ah, the story of our king, is it? The tragic fall of Leoric was a harsh blow to this land. The people always loved the king, and now they live in mortal fear of him. The question that I keep asking myself is how he could have fallen so far from the light, as Leoric had always been the holiest of men. Only the vilest powers of hell could so utterly destroy a man from within. What ails you, my friend? The loss of his son was too much for King Leoric. I did what I could to ease his madness, but in the end, it overcame him. A black curse has hung over this kingdom from that day forward. But perhaps, if you were to free his spirit from his earthly prison, the curse would be lifted. I think quests are also randomly generated, if I'm not mistaken. Can the fellow drink in peace? I don't care about that. Listen, yeah, no skeleton is. is gonna be my king. Leoric is king. King! So you hear me? Hail to the king! You gotta love the town drunk. So going on back to what I said about the random quest, that's what gives Diablo its replay value. Not so much the fact that you have three classes to play with, but each quest is each time for the game. Quests are different, with the exception of the butcher. I sense a soul in search of a the dead who walk among the living follow the cursed king. He holds the power to raise yet more warriors for an ever-growing army of the undead. If you do not stop his reign, he will surely march across this land and slay all who still live here. That convenient. The stairs are right next to each other.
guys taking too much time. Serious. I have to start over again? Whoa, what can I do for you? You have to be serious. Then again, it's also partially my fault for not saving, but. you my friend well time to uh do this again First, to trigger the quest of the butcher. Oh, yeah, I forgot about her. Thank goodness you returned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about Jillian. Good day. How may I serve? Cain has been the storyteller of Tristram for as long as I can remember. He knows so much and can tell you just about anything. About almost everything. Well, fortunately, I didn't very, make very much progress, so it's not that big of a loss. Wait, was I supposed to listen to the whole story of uh, the tavern owner? I think I was. Goodness, you've returned. Much has changed since you lived here, my friend. All was peaceful until the Dark Riders came and destroyed our village. Many were cut down where they stood, and those who took up arms were slain or, or dragged away to become slaves, or worse. The church at the edge of town has been desecrated and is being used for dark rituals. The screams that echo in the night are inhuman, but some of our townsfolk may yet survive. Follow the path that lies between my tavern and the blacksmith's shop to find the church and save who you can. Perhaps I can tell you more if we speak again. Good luck. You know, the one advantage of me dying is that I'll get to show you guys what I was getting at earlier. So maybe dying wasn't a complete loss.
weird. Where's the dude? Everybody. Well, what can I do for you? Well, I have to practically smuggle in the metals and tools I need from caravans that skirt the edges of our damned town. That witch Adria always seems to get whatever she needs. If I knew even the smallest bit about how to harness magic as she did, I could make some truly incredible things. Hello, my friend. I know of many myths and legends that may contain answers to questions that may arise in your journeys into the labyrinth. If you come across challenges and questions to which you seek knowledge, seek me out, and I will tell you what I can. Oh, that's weird. I always thought that the butcher was the first quest. What ails you, my friend? I really don't understand why Ogden stays here in Tristram. He suffers from a slight nervous condition, but he is an intelligent and industrious man who would do very well wherever he went. I suppose it may be the fear of the many murders that happen in the surrounding countryside, or perhaps the wishes of his wife that keep him and his family where they are. Thank goodness you've returned. Much has changed since you lived here, my friend. All was peaceful until the Dark Riders came and destroyed our village. Many were cut down where they stood, and those who took up arms were slain or, or dragged away to become slaves, or worse. The church at the edge of town has been desecrated and is being used for dark rituals. The screams that echo in the night are inhuman, but some of our townsfolk may yet survive. Follow the path that lies between my tavern and the blacksmith's shop to find the church and save who you can. Perhaps I can tell you more if we speak again. Good luck. Hmm. It's really weird. Well, let's just head in there and see what happens. That seems somewhat esoteric, that, uh... The sanctity of this place has been fouled. Yep, as you can see, the layout's changed. right off the bat.
too much baggage. Selling some of this stuff. I guess I can always come back later. I do for you. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? That's real nice. It doesn't have any, uh... What's that? All that? Three. Whoa! What can I do for you? What is it? Okay, the other cap is a higher durability. Whoa! What can I do I for you? Buy it. Whoa! What can I do for you? You see, the one advantage of getting items prepared at the smithy is that you retain the durability of your item. Whereas if I repair it myself, then that durability goes down. sense a soul in search of an the sum of our knowledge is in the sum of its people should you find a book or scroll that you cannot decipher do not hesitate to bring it to me if i can make sense of it i will share what i find so i guess essentially at this point i have no quests going on so might as well just go around and Kill a bunch of monsters some more.
there's a few items around in this area somewhere. There they are. I can't carry too much baggage. from the Scroll of Town portal. So let's just go ahead and put it to good use. Alright, so I'm gonna sell some 
stuff over here. Oh, bridges this way. I sense a soul in search of answers. for you. I'm glad I caught up to you in time. Our wells have become brackish and stagnant, and some of the townspeople have become ill drinking from them. Our reserves of fresh water are quickly running dry. So I, I believe got my first that there quest. is a passage that leads to the springs that serve our town. Please find what has caused this calamity, or we all will surely perish. What ails you, my friend? Finally got a quest here. I'm glad I caught up to you and yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess basically what he's saying is deep down in the dungeons, you gotta find out where the poison water is at. Put an end to it, and you're good to go. That would have been real embarrassing if I had died from an exploding barrel.
dumb. Hmm. Another one of these. Here he shrines. I know there's one shrine in particular where it reveals the entire map. That is very handy. Good master, welcome to... I have always tried to keep a large supply of foodstuffs and drink in our storage cellar. But with the entire town having no source of fresh water, even our stores will soon run dry. Please, do what you can or I don't know what we will do. Whoa, what can I do for you? Uh, let's see here. Hmm. That is so weird that a small axe like that requires two hands. I'm sorry, I just can't get over that. Whoa, what can I do for you? Yes, it does a little extra damage, but Whoa, I what want can I do shield. for you? Uh, speaking of shields, why am I not seeing any uh, small shields? We'll talk to him about. Pepin has told you the truth. We will need fresh water badly, and soon. Uh, I've tried to clear one of the smaller wells, but it reeks of stagnant filth. It must be getting clogged at the source. So what he has to say about the poison water supply. Hello, my friend. Hmm. I don't know what I can really tell you about this that will be of any help. The water that fills our wells comes from an underground spring. I have heard of a tunnel that leads to a great lake. Perhaps they are one and the same. Unfortunately, I do not know what would cause our water supply to be tainted. Deeper in the dungeons, we'll find the source of the water supply. Maybe Adrian would know. I sense a soul in search of answers. And you'd be correct. The people of Tristram will die if you cannot restore fresh water to their wells. Know this, demons are at the heart of this matter, but they remain ignorant of what they have spawned. Well, you know what? Well, I'm here, I'm just going by some muscle. I sense a soul in search of answers. Perfect. Thank you. pretty much explore the entire uh, first floor, I believe. So now, no, I actually I haven't. I haven't explored that side. Did I? Oh, yes, I have. I was thinking it was entirely different. Anyways, let's head on down to the next level. Further. Oh, there we go, much better. Good. Resistance, there it is. 
30. It's 865. Very nice. If I were to die right now, at least I save. So I don't have to start so far back. Well, a lot of skeletons. But all the more reason to, uh, Look forward to uh, leveling up. Not uh, too far to go.
passageway to the spring. But I'm not gonna go down there just yet. I wanna make sure I have some. I can't carry anymore. Check out because I have some room for all my goods. Too, since I'm here anyways. Hmm. Okay, probably not the smartest decision I've made, but... I know at some point I'm gonna have to learn magic. Because like I said previously, I think only certain enemies can be killed by magic, while others cannot. I sense a soul in search of answers. I sense a soul in search of answers.
Ooh, look at healing. Ooh. This really does beg the question. You know what? Heck with it. Yeah. Uh, charge bolt's not gonna do me any good. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. Alright, so I got another spell learned. I begin, I begin to think to myself, is it really worth it? Am I humble and honestly? Yes, it is. I might not have much uh, mana, but at least now I can learn some magic. So... Sense a soul in search of answers.
Well, what can I do for you? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. that. I'm going to keep this sword unless something better comes along. Wow, what can I do for you? Longsword would have. Unless Longsword's a two handed weapon. You know, I think I'm just gonna stick with what I've got for the time being. My inventory look. side. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. I gotta pawn some of this stuff.
too much baggage. Now, now that I think about it, if I'm gonna go this route, I might as well start saving up for mana potion. I sense a soul in search of answers. No, wait, I didn't want to buy some mana potions from you. I sense a soul in search of answers. Often I'll be using healing magic, but you never know. Whoa, well, what can I do for you?
All right. I think this is where I'm going to stop for now. Um, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.